there is a very important capability or ability of an operational amplifier and that is known as the common mode rejection so here we are going to learn about common mode rejection and the common mode rejection ratio remember the difference amplifier an operational amplifier is often called a difference amplifier because it actually amplifies the difference of the input two inputs applied to each pin there are two input pins and uh, actually the op amp amplifies the difference of these two inputs so remember this difference amplifier configuration we have already already derived that if the, all these uh, resistors will be of equal value we are going to have exact difference of these two inputs at the output so if v1 is equal to v2 that is there is the same signal a common mode signal applied at the input to both so here is the source vcm and here is the source vcm as well with reference to ground then vo must be zero but this is what our ideal op amp model says in practical in reality uh, vo may not be exactly zero there would be some small output there so how good an op amp is in rejecting how good an op amp is in rejecting or in other way in another words not amplifying how good an op amp is in rejecting common mode input or signal is measured by or represented by its a measure known as common mode rejection ratio cmrr as the name implies common mode rejection ratio is a ratio that represents how good an op amp is when it uh, when it amplifies a signal in the differential mode and how good it is when it amplifies in the common uh, a common mode signal so a common mode rejection ratio uh, is is a measure to to verify how good a difference amplifier is so it is basically the the ratio of the gain in the difference mode to the uh, to the gain in the common mode so this adm is actually the same a that we already know the open loop uh, voltage gain typically that is infinity or very high like for a micro uh, mua741 op amp it is like 2 into 10 to the power 5 and this acm is defined as the common mode gain it is defined as the output of the op amp it it should be zero but it is not zero when there is some input vcm applied to both the inputs so you can see that if there is some vcm this should be zero ideally this should be zero so the denominator is zero cmrr must be a large value for a good operational amplifier but in reality this will not be zero vo the output would not be exactly zero it would be a small value based on how good the op amp is small value divided by large value is acm is a small value so something a large value divided by a small value cmrr cmrr is expected to be a very large value and if you have to compare remember this vcm is that v1 and equal to 2 both of the inputs must be same so in in uh, so so if we are given two op amps so we have one op amp and somebody tells us that its cmrr is a value say like what are the typical values let me let me have a look at the table 
table 6.3 in the height book it rep it uh, shows several values for example uh, we have we have studied about the input current right now uh, in the earlier lecture and we see that the uh, in an ideal op amp model the input current must be um, must be zero but in in a um, practical op amp like 741 if you look at that table you can see that it is it is like 80 nano amperes now this this current 80 nano ampere is for a practical real op amp this op amp but uh, if you remember we found in the previous video that uh, it should it it came uh, based on our calculation to something like um, 60 pico amperes this is large as compared to 60 pico amperes but again we were using models to compute that this is for the actual op amp it is still very small and uh, in the in the table 6.3 in the height book you can see that a, an entry exists for input bias current all this discussion is related to the previous lecture lecture 4.0 input bias current so for example for um, for mu 741 op amp the input bias current is given as 80 nano ampere and similarly uh, in that table you can see that for a 7741 the cmrr is 90 db i will explain this db in a while but for now let us just say uh, it is uh, it's, a, it's a value 90 and then there is another op amp say some some other op amp in the table say like for example the lf 411 there's another op amp and it's op it's cmrr is 100 db so if, if we if our application is to amplify a signal and reject the common mode signal like reject the noise and if we have to choose between these two op amps we are obviously going to choose this one because this has a, has a better cmrr so if our application requires um, a rejection of the common mode signal we, we are going to prefer an op amp with the better cmrr now what is this db See, because cmrr are large values so there is another way of representing cmrr in dbs so it is actually defined as 20 log of log to the base 10 of the cmrr value cmrr value or other cmrr value that is not in db obviously that is the ratio uh, it is a dm or a over acm the mode signs are used just to signify that the, out, the voltages can be negative as well we are not taking their negative value so their uh, the positive gain is being considered so cmrr in db is actually the 20 log to the base 10 of a over acm where acm is defined in this fashion acm is the output of the op amp for a common mode signal only so both inputs have the same signal that is acm so suppose um, a is 2 into 10 raised power 5 say and acm for the same op amp say comes out to be like 2 2 2 volt per volt then cmrr would be into 10 raised power 5 over 2 which is 10 raised power 5 now 20 log of 10 raised power 5 would be 10 raised power 5 uh, log of 10 raised power 5 is 5 so 5 into 20 is 100 so we are going to get 100 db this is what 100 db means 100 db refers to 100 divided by 20 
and the anti log anti log of this thing or in other way tan raised to power minus this thing gives the cmrr of 5 similarly we can compute what this uh, uh, no, uh, sorry uh, Ten raised to power hundred over twenty gives the CMR RR of ten raised to power five. Sorry. Similarly, so ninety dB means ten raised to power ninety over twenty, which would be CMR RR. This obviously is going to be a smaller value, and this is a larger value. CMR RR again is the is how good an operational amplifier is to reject. common mode signal and why do we need this we need this because a, a typically op amps are used in circuits where we want to reject the common mode uh, input for example we want to reject the noise we don't want the noise to get amplified amplified so uh, uh, the ability this is a good actually the good a good measure of an op amp the larger its value the better the op amp is